here at Shoe Palace once again. Had to come and see these in person, bro. Then we got these right here, man. They got these by the boatload. These are definitely sitting. I thought they would sit. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. I mean, the color combination is dope. Bringing these back from back in the day. All black with that trim. I think these are pretty dope. 200 on a retail. So I came by Shoe Palace before uh, going into the this Ross and I came across these. 59 bucks, you guys see what they're going for. These are not too bad, bro. What would you guys do? I think this is something I might pull a trigger on even though there's no ranking, but you know, I don't know, man. What do you think? What's good, YouTube? Bobby Thrift back again with another video. Hopefully, have a great day wherever you are in the world. As you guys can see, we're here at another Ross. Let's go inside and see what they got for us. Hey, how you doing? So we're coming in here now. It looks pretty cool. Much better temperature in here. We got the women's sneakers first. I'm just gonna dive into them. I'm only gonna show you guys the heat if there is any. I have been here and the men's sneakers have been picking up lately. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out in a second. But let's briefly go ahead and check out the women's stuff. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's go check out the men's stuff first. So let's go ahead and see what we can come across here. They've been open for some hours. Back to school has happened. It is a Monday. I've seen something right there already. Let's go ahead and check out this back wall first. Under Armour cleats, bigger sizes, Pumas. Okay, so we got some Under Armour cleats right here with an iridescent splash on them, 29 bucks. I think I might be good on these for $29. Maybe we'll look them up and see what's good. Put those right there for a second. Slide on through here, cause I see some, uh, are these like the Joel and B's for 37 bucks? What size is this? What size is this? Size 17 on these. <laughs> Under Armour, $37. So we got some Nikes here for 44 So Under Armour Flows, okay, $44. What do you guys think about these in the comment section below? Got some extra uh, laces with them, so that's something else to look up and see. Let's go ahead and dive in and see if we see anything else worth our while. We got some Under Armour cleats. If you don't know me, I'm pretty cool on cleats. Bad taste in my mouth. Used to find these type of things for $3.99, $4.99, for $29. Bucks. I don't know, but let me know. Maybe they got some good comps. If you guys know about that, let me know in the comment section. And maybe I just passed up on some money right there. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing else over here. Some Pumas. Slide on over to the next aisle. Dreamers seem to still be sitting around, but this is a smaller size. $11.99 for a size four and a half. Eleven. $11.99 for the Dreamer size four and a half. That's not a bad price right there. <laughs> That's not bad at all. So here we go. This is what everybody's been finding over here. Um, these cleats right here, these alpha cleats for $19.99. That's actually a good steal, good price. We'll look these up to show you guys the comps. Is this dirty on the bottom though? That's unfortunate, but we definitely found what a lot of people have been talking about for $19 too. You can't go wrong with that. We got these Converse right here, the Pro Leather. Not bad shoe. Uh, they want $23 for these. Not a bad find either, but uh, normally 50 bucks here. So to sum it up, these were kind of the only things I came across, but some of these we've seen before, like this right here. You guys will see what the comps are on the screen. Uh, not a bad one, but we're passing on that. We probably will scoop these for $19. You cannot go wrong with that. Uh, then we got some Stan Smiths right here, which different type of materials, and it's on clearance for $16.99. We're gonna look these up to see what these are talking about. You'll see the comps on the screen. Then we got some more like track cleats. No spikes with them though, unfortunately. $16.99. Then we got some Under Armour shoes right here for $44.99. And then some cleats. I'm not really a fan of the cleats. $29, bucks, but if these retail for something crazy, then maybe I'll scoop them up. But you guys see what they are on the screen. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is unfortunate right here because these have actually been worn. And the reason why I could tell is like, if you look on the inside, you see that stuff right there? Put the light on it. Oh, I can't, okay and put the light on it. The tag is all folded. It's like yellow on the inside. And to be honest with you, I'm not lying. They don't smell new. 
and I hate to even I wish there was a smell cam. I don't I don't know how they even got these back in here with it and look at the bottoms. Like I'm this is these have definitely been worn before. Like what the hell is the deal with that? And somehow they put them back here with the tags on them and everything. But these are definitely worn. I thought I had a winner because they're 19 and you see the comps, they were over a hundred dollars. But just look at the yellowing and everything. These have definitely been used. How did Ross do this? Has anybody else experienced this in your store? Let me know in the comments below. They got a tag on them, sensor and everything, bro. This is nasty as shit. I really thought those were new. Wow. Double checking some of these. Like these didn't even come up. Uh, the comps for these weren't even the best. And then these right here, I couldn't even find a way to look them up. So we're gonna leave these all alone, man. I thought we had some good finds, but it turns out that these were all bust. Somebody get out of here and try and get to the next location, you dig? Briefly looking at the clothes. So like this Adidas hoodie kind of stood out to me a little bit. Got the Adidas print all over it. Uh, normal retail is 60 bucks. They're asking, how much are they asking for here? 29 bucks for 60. Let me scan it to see. Let's come up. Maybe it would be good for Q4, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave that alone for 29 bucks. I don't know, like crazy. Still 14.99. Retail 60. Three of these Nike shirts already 14.99 for 60 to retail, but they don't come up when I scan them, so we gotta leave them alone. Adidas, same thing. Nothing much as far as the apparel is concerned. For men or women, you know what I mean? So yeah, I had to get out of there. But that was interesting to see those cleats like that. Have you guys experienced that in your stores? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. But that was weird. I thought something was crazy when I first looked at them. Because the bottoms, I thought, you know, sometimes you see some stuff with a little dirt on it. You think you can clean it off. But then going through it, looking at it some more. Then one time I picked it up and moved it around. And I kind of got a whiff of the inside. It smelled like somebody warm. Like somebody played football on them or something like that. So... I don't know how that got mixed up. I would love to know your feedback and your thoughts on that and if you guys have experienced that. But it had the tag back on it, the zip tie and everything. So how did I get through the whole processing? Are they taking returns and sending them off to Ross now? Is that what's going on? Are Nike and Adidas sending Ross the returns? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. I just thought of that right now. That would be crazy if they're taking back the returns and sending the returns to Marshalls and Ross. Please let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Bobby Thrift, aka Bosco. Yeah, I'm in the car right now, but I'm just thinking about that. Like, I'm really not trying to exaggerate that. Have you guys been getting returns or shoes that look like they've been returned from Nike or another store and been priced as a new shoe at Ross or Marshalls or Burlington? Let me know in the comments below because I'm definitely not trying to cap for the video, but that's what it looked like. So let me know your thoughts on that and let me know what you guys think, how that got there, you dig?